Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how to get Lux URP Essentials Volumetric Lights working on the Quest 2. Let's get started. First, you're going to want to open Unity Hub and then you're going to want to start a new project. I suggest 2021.2 and click on Universal Render Pipeline. Let's call this project Lux URP. Let's go ahead and turn off the light map baking. How to generate disabled. Let's go to File New. New Scene. Basic URP. Create. And then let's go ahead and delete all of the files and folders except for presets and settings. And then drag the Universal Render Pipeline Global Settings into the Settings folder. I go up to File, Build Settings. And you're going to click on Android. And you're going to, don't, don't click Switch Platform just yet. Click on Texture Compression. Click on ASTC. Then click on Player Settings. You're going to go over here and turn off Optimize Frame Pacing. And then you're going to click on Other Settings. And you're going to turn off Auto Graphics API. And you're going to delete OpenGL ES3. And then you're going to turn on Graphics Jobs. Texture Compression Format. Set it to ASTC. And change the Android Minimum API Level to 10. That's what the Quest 2 uses. Scripting backend, IL2 CPV. Then API compatibility level, .NET framework. And we're going to disable ARM v7 for the target architectures and enable ARM64. Then we're going to go up to the quality and you're going to, you're actually going to delete medium and low so that there's no confusion. And then we're going to select high quality. And from the inspector, go ahead and turn on depth texture. Turn off terrain holes. And set anti-aliasing to disabled and turn off HDR. Turn off cast shadows, we won't be needing them. And disable additional lights. Once you've done that, go ahead and switch platforms to Android. One more setting, you're going to have to enable dynamic batching. Then you can go ahead and go to Lux URP, open in Unity, download, and then import. Okay, now we can go ahead and import the Oculus package. Click install. Then we can go ahead and import our Oculus integration package. Once you've got that installed, you can go ahead and you're going to need this script. I have a link to it in the description. I'll have a link to the Oculus integration package from the Unity Asset Store as well. This is used for fixed foveated rendering. It requires the package and it also sets 120 Hertz as well. We'll take a look at that script. All it does is set the fixed foveated rendering level to the highest possible, which is high top and enables it to true and sets the system display frequency to 120 hertz. The rest are commented out. From here, we can go ahead and go to our Lux URP Essentials demo scene. And that'll be volumetrics. Gotta go to console, and it's telling you the type namespace W, sorry, LWRP does not exist. We're gonna go ahead and open that. It's in a review, and it says to change it so that it can understand the newest 
implementation. I'm going to change LWRP to universal. And that'll allow it to finish compiling. You're going to click on yes for these and other files. Would you like to upgrade? Click yes. Now OpenXR, it's the future right now. It has a few bugs, um, but it will have pass through API, which will be very important in the future. Go ahead and click cancel for now. The OVR plugin will be using, in, it will be used instead of OpenXR. Okay. The OVR plugin is going to ask you to restart. Click restart. And it says it found a new audio plugin. And it would ask, would you like to upgrade? Click upgrade. And it's going to ask you to restart. So now we have the project imported. And all of the plugins. We're going to go ahead and go down to render. Render pipeline converter. And you're going to click on convert built-in assets and change it to built-in to URP and check the material upgrade. Once you do that, click on Initialize Converters and then click Convert Assets. Okay, now we can go ahead and go to our demo scene. The M ground transparent is missing its shader. We're going to go ahead and delete that one. Now this scene looks really cool in VR, but the problem is these are these are fake. So as soon as you get close to them, they disappear. It's you can do this trick with uh, other techniques. It looks really good in here. It's up to you if you want to use the assets, but for the purpose of this tutorial, um, I'm going to simplify it. We're going to go ahead and click on this object right here. It's a cylinder. Control D and drag that up to the top. And we're gonna create an empty child. We're gonna call this uh, lamp post. And then drag that up above it. And you're gonna drag this cylinder into lamp post. Then we're gonna click on this volumetric circle right here. Right here. And you're gonna control D on that one as well. and drag it into lamppost. You're going to click on the small light object, control D, and then you're going to drag that into the lamppost. So now we're going to delete the two cardboards, delete the seeker um, for the gas station. Click on plane, control D on that, and then drag that above lamppost. Now you can delete the gas station, delete the global volume. One last thing you're going to need for that lamppost is its it's this right here, it's a light probe group. Drag that up there and then delete lighting. Drag the uh, the light probe group over to the lamppost so that it's sitting somewhere in the center. And this will help with lighting uh, your VR hands. Go ahead and delete the uh, SM flashlight, the greeble, the cardboard box, cube. You can also delete the main camera, cube, and all of the volumes. Then delete cube, cube, event system, info canvas, and torchlight. So now we just have one object and the plane. So we're going to duplicate it, move it over right next to it, and drag it down about halfway to the ground. Something like that and then duplicate it one more time. Drag it to the side and drag it all the way to the ground. Now we have three of them. We're gonna go ahead and duplicate those and place them right next to each other. So now we have six and you're gonna duplicate them to the side here. Let's do that uh, once twice, three times, four times. Okay, we've duplicated it five times, so there's six of them now. That looks pretty good. Let's do it a couple more times. So we've got seven of them, eight of them, 
and nine of them. Okay. Now we can go ahead and go to our Oculus folder, sample framework, usage, go down to locomotion, and you're going to copy these five files right here, and then go back to Lux URP Essentials, Demos, right back into our value metrics, and paste in our player. He's going to end up over here. You can drag the player controller a little bit closer, maybe like right there. And then let's bake the light without real-time global illumination and change progressive CPU to progressive GPU, turn on, turn off progress updates, progressive updates, turn off multiple important sampling, set it to 128. It's just for light probes, but it'll come out pretty decent. Light probe sample multiplier to seven and then hit generate lighting. Okay, and the last thing we want to do is create an empty object, call it set oculus settings. And we're gonna take our script. And we're just gonna drag it over there. You can also add it with add component as well. And then you have to check your other settings. So we're going to click on XR Plugin Management, select Oculus, click on Oculus underneath that, change Multipass to Multiview, turn on Phase Sync, turn on Subsampled Layout, and turn off Quest. And then you're going to go back to Player, and sure enough, it deleted it. So you're going to have to add Vulcan back on and delete ES3. One more thing I want you to do. I want you to disable the sphere collider on all of the small light objects. Uh, there's a few ways to do that. You could search for the name, or you could search for the type, and then you could type in sphere collider, and it'll find every object that has a sphere collider. And you're gonna turn off sphere collider. Now you'll be able to go inside the volumetric objects. Go ahead and save it and then build it. We're going to call it Lux URP. Now I'm going to open a command prompt and send it over to my quest. And then I'll go ahead and show you guys uh, what that looks like. Let's go ahead and open the menu, set to walk only, then left, strafe, right, teleport. Here we go. This looks pretty good. And it's got great frame rate, no noticeable loss in frame rate. And then if you take a look, these are volumetric probes, or volumetric lights. And uh, the best part about them is when you reach into them, you can actually see your hand as it starts to fade into the volume. So for example, that right there, that's the best reason to use volumetric lights. Is you can see objects passing through it, and even you can pass through it, and that's, that's a very hard thing to describe, is when you're going through a volumetric light as it fades in and out. It's a very uh, unique feature to VR. I highly suggest you try out the APK. I'm going to put it in the description. And uh, yeah, sure enough, you've got about 50 probes, plenty, plenty of performance. Um, yeah, I would suggest uh, staying under 100. 50 is probably a lot for any project. But uh, every project's different, and uh, there's no noticeable performance loss. Highly suggest Lux URP Essentials. Try it out. See if it looks good in your project. See if maybe you can get 
all of your lights to use some sort of volumetric lighting. I hope you liked the video. Leave a like if you want to see more. Thanks everyone.